the first vlog of 2021 and uh, thought we'd kick it off back in the studio in a way. Just uh, a bit has happened since you last saw it. Um, we've got a few desks, just a few desks over here down, down the line. One of them's mine, which is really cool actually. This is, uh, this is my desk, so a lot of, lot, of work, lot of work to room. Yeah, a lot of room to work, I meant to say. Yeah, this is fun. And I don't know if you noticed, but there's also the chairs has arrived. Something I wasn't here last time when I was here. But we've got chairs, so I'm gonna be assembling those today, I guess. Just, well, I'm gonna assemble mine at the very least. Yeah, cool. Guess I'll just, I guess I'll just go do that now. <laughs> assemble this and then I'm going to talk about what this vlog is actually all about because apparently we do tutorials and vlogs now so <laughs> that's cool. Okay, so I guess what I'm making, you know, getting all the junk out of the packaging and there's so much junk here. What I'm doing with this, I think I should uh, mention what this video is about. And like I said at the beginning, uh, it's kind of like a tutorial, sort of. Not really. It's more like an insight, if anything. Uh, today we're talking about what it's like to be a YouTuber, how to start your YouTube channel, all the things you need to do if you want to start vlogging, making films and doing anything. But if you're thinking, Bebop, I don't want to learn how to be a filmmaker, I just want to upload videos to the internet for other people to see. And while yeah, that is great and your motivation is good and your message is pure and all the cliche things, you're a filmmaker now. You want to start uploading to YouTube, you're a filmmaker. That's just the thing of all things. It's just how it's gonna be now. Yeah, that, that, that felt good. That sounded good. That sounded good, didn't it? <laughs> Lesson number two of being a YouTuber or, you know, not just being a YouTuber, but anything in life is, uh, see these? These things are called instructions. We don't use instructions. Life doesn't give us instructions. We don't use instructions. Except for this video, you might want to listen to some things I say in this video. And I might actually need those. Maybe, just, just maybe. So much junk. Great, and another episode of watching Vpop do mundane tasks. Simple enough, I mean, it doesn't look that hard. I mean, how hard can it be to set up a simple chair? I mean, it's, it's just a chair. I mean, those desks were a little more difficult by the IKEA desks, so it kind of makes sense. And, yeah, let's step back a bit. Right, step one, when you get the wheelie things, and all the wheels, I'm assuming these are all the wheels. Five wheels, five wheels. Took only half an hour. Whee! I mean, not a bad chair. Armrest, if you will. No armrest, if you don't want. Versatile, that's what we like. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. This is awesome. Ooh, it's nice. I'm kind of raising up a little bit, just a little bit. Just a tad. Alright. Welcome back to another vlog, and oh yeah, this is, feels good to be back making videos. I'm just, mmm, pumped. Uh, don't know if you can hear, but the echo in this room, it's, it's bad. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get anything done to mitigate the echo in the room, but right now, all I can really do is just deal with it. <laughs> 
hope that the microphone picks me up because it is a very directional mic, shotgun mic, uh, fun fact. And it's picking up, it should pick up my voice really well, but still, just this echo is just, it's terrible. Okay, so today we're talking about starting a YouTube channel and what it requires, the, the things that come along with being a YouTuber. To become a YouTuber, do you have to become a filmmaker? Not necessarily, but I think it's always just fun to become a filmmaker, YouTuber, guy, person, thing, whatever you want to identify yourself as, 2021. Be a little open-minded, if you will. So I think the first thing we're going to touch on is your gear doesn't matter. I started out filming on my phone, not this phone, <laughs> this phone wasn't out yet, but I started filming everything on an iPhone SE, and for those who don't know, it came out in 2016, it was like the revamped iPhone 5S, it had the camera of the latest iPhone at the time, it shot 1080p, and I shot everything on my phone. The audio was from the microphone on my phone, so it, was, it wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. It was actually, it wasn't too bad, if I'm being honest. Looking back on that video now, you can go watch it in the iCard above somewhere if you want to go put yourself through that torture but I don't recommend it but at the same time the views <laughs> but yeah you can go see where I started just by clicking that iCard and all of that filmed on my phone I still got comments and people asking me what did you film this on this looks really good and it was just my phone so you don't need big cameras and big microphones and big lights to get started but it does help I mean of course it helps but it's not a necessity. What is a necessity is what you're gonna create. You need to know what you're creating. You need to know the audience you're creating it for. Who am I creating this for? All my videos, well, they're for people who want to learn more about filmmaking, more about photography. And yes, it may be a saturated market, but I think I've got a fresh perspective, a fresh take, if you will, on this scenario. Because as someone who is just starting their business in photography, cinematography, I think I can provide some insight to being a filmmaker and artist in today's age. So today we're going to be talking about the key things you need to be a YouTuber. So the first thing is knowing your audience and knowing what you're making. The second thing is you got to be yourself. As cliche as that may sound, it is true. You have to be yourself. If you weren't yourself on video and it's just, it feels a little disingenuous, dis, disingenuous, dis, it doesn't feel as real, it doesn't feel as connected as some people may think. You can have a personality for sure on YouTube, but if that personality doesn't come from somewhere within you, then I think it's a bit, not weird, it's just, you're not lying, it's just, how do I put this lightly? I feel like you need to be yourself. That way you don't break who you are and why you're doing it. People can come see you and you can be you and you can have a connection between uh, people watching you and when you are on the camera. And I think my friend just rocked up. So I've got to go deal with that now and I'll see you in a second. Okay. Have you oh, ever, I'm so white. Have you? I need a tan. Now. Have you ever been on camera? Uh, yeah. Yeah? No? No, oh, yeah? Okay. A little bit. Cool. Okay, so uh, today I'm here with Samantha. Hi. Samantha is going to be starting her own YouTube channel, and today I thought this vlog would be about what you need, and what are the requirements, and what happens when you start a YouTube channel. So I've been doing YouTube for about five years, I think. Wow. I started in like 2016. And all back then, I just filmed it on my phone. Filmed it all on my phone, I edited it on my iPad, and I uploaded it straight to YouTube. Granted, I was terrible, and if you want to go watch those monstrosities, check the iCard in the top right-hand corner. I think it's the right-hand corner, my left, your right, something like that. But yes, you are going to be starting your own channel. Yes. Um, what, what's your channel going to be about? Do you know yet? Is, or is it just going to be Life of Samantha? Yeah, I'm thinking Life of Samantha. I'm so unsure because I've got so many ideas, so I'm thinking like... So like ride a motorbike, fitness, yeah. like health tips, um, music. Yeah, that's. Helpful. And I just don't know where to start. You just you just start. You just <laughs> start. You just gotta dive in, get started. <laughs> yeah, that's what I that's what I struggled with when I first started my YouTube channel. I was like, oh, what am I? What's it gonna be about? Like, I mean, I wanna do dances. I wanna do music because I. No, I did remixes, if you want to go find those, that's still on the channel. <laughs> um, 
and all of my dance videos still on the channel have not taken them down. I probably should, but <laughs> I think it's a nice history. Really, I don't think YouTube would ever become a full-time thing for me because there's not much money to be made on YouTube, even with ad revenue, sponsorships, brand deals. And as cool as they may sound and appealing, that's not the reason why you start YouTube. Mm. You start it because you want to learn to create, you want to create something, you want to express yourself, you want to just put something out there for everyone to watch. And yeah, you don't get into YouTube for the wrong reasons, and that is tip number one. Look at that smooth segment. Nice. Yeah, it's just it's cutting off the top of your noggin. Yeah, you're it's, good. Thanks. Um, <laughs> I've been doing this for five years. Like, you'd hope so. <laughs> you, I, you would hope you're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the second point is your gear doesn't matter. With that being said, <laughs> it does help. I'm not gonna lie. But lots of people, you can now get started with your phone and there's now great editing apps on your smartphone. Uh, especially if you use an iPhone, there's a great app called LumaFusion, which is what I use to get started. It's on the iPhone, it's on the iPad, and it's only, I think it's 40 bucks, which sounds like a lot, like, oh, 40 bucks, that's a lot. But Premiere Pro cost me $80 a month. That's already over 40 and that's monthly, that's a subscription. And then Final Cut Pro cost me $300, so 40 bucks for a very decent, editing software on your phone or your iPad, I do recommend it highly. I don't know if it's on Android though. I'm not an Android guy. I'm not a Windows guy. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I figured. I don't know how, I just, oh no, I'll tell you why. No offense. <laughs> okay, oh, here we I, go. I, I, <laughs> it should be good. Nah. I, so I watched your videos. Oh yeah. I, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll go give them a check it out. And I just watched it and there's just something about iPhones that I can always pick out the quality of the video itself and the audio. Yeah. And your audio just, I'm, I watched it, I'm like, hmm. It's pretty this bad. Was, this was shot on an Android. <laughs> yeah, it is really bad. And that's not to hate on all Androids. I know there's like a lot of good Androids that are expensive, like the Samsung phones. I do admire the Samsung phones um, for all the technology they pack into the phones. But at the same time, cost as much as an iPhone. I'm just gonna get an iPhone because I have a Mac, AirDrop. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's just little things. Um, this could get into a big debate about what's better, <laughs> and I will, I will happily sit here for hours. Leave your this. comments. This is, <laughs> like, so Android bad. or iPhone? <laughs> Comment below, guys. There's a right answer. <laughs> so yeah. But getting back on track, your gear doesn't matter. Uh, again, with that being said, we are probably picking you up a camera today. Uh, fun fact: the camera you picked out is the first camera I bought. I'm on the right track. It's then. um, yes. Yeah, <laughs> And I'll, uh, we'll come back to the studio and I'll show you everything about it, really, how it works, how it functions, all the, all the good stuff, you know. All right, so we're about to head into the camera store, uh, Diamonds Cameras in Adelaide. I go there all the time, so they know me. So hopefully they can be like, hey, discount. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'll happily take that. Happily take that. Yeah, how are you feeling? Pretty excited, actually. Excited? Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, this, this, what happened? This store used to be so much bigger. It used to extend out. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> Guys, what happened? What happened to the store? <laughs> it used to be. It used to be big, I swear. We're here for you, not me. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting a camera. We're getting a camera. Yeah. Canon M50? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I want to downgrade. <laughs> This is an upgrade for me, it'd be a downgrade for you. <laughs> it's funny because I've already got the M50 at home, so it's. Yeah, I've already got it at home. That's the M50 with the standard lens, 15 to 45 mil. Oh. That's my face there. I don't know if you've seen one, but that's basically what it looks like. Oh, dear. Good for vlogging as well. Yeah, that's what we. Yeah. For vlogging. Oh, cool. Yeah, you can do that. Perfect. I, I call um, my camera just that camera on steroids, essentially. Oh, yes. It's essentially that's all it is. Can I turn it on or is it like not running? It's a battery. Um... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is what vloggers do. They just point the camera at each other <laughs> and go, yes, look. Oh, wow. Whoa. It's pretty good. I'm going to take a photo of you. Oh, wait, it says no card. There's no card in it. <laughs> I thought I read it. Wow, that does look cool. Cute, I like it. How much is this one? Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> I brewed! <laughs> I 
but if it declines. Yeah, just... <laughs> Take two. No. Oh, it's done. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> nah, I told him. <laughs> oh, so I had to get his approval. Uh, so you tell me we shouldn't upload this for like a six months or something like that? Yeah, just... yeah give it give it a take. <laughs> give it give it some time. That was easy. Good job. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have got it if it wasn't for his help. Receipts in the bag. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much. So good. I think we were successful. We ended up going back to get tripod and a little logging tripod because you need it. Just vloggers, vlogging things. Don't, don't question it. And I played with a few lenses. I am so excited to use it. Go back to the studio and she gets a crash course uh, 101 on how to do photography. Does this go in? Is it? Oh, yeah. Two. Why was the first one so hard? Three. 